Good morning, everyone. Strafefell, I'm playing some more Ickenfell. And today we are heading deep into the Spirit Oval, looking for the last of Gwynor's pictures. Uh, with the Spirit Heart in hand, we should be able to uh, do this fight. That's charming. How can I expect to live up to others' expectations? I can't even live up to my own. Oh, it's gonna be one of these. I'm worthless and I hate myself. I hate how I look, how I act, how I speak. I just I wish I wasn't me. I push everyone away because I don't think they really like me. I'm unpleasant to be around. I'm afraid to sleep at night. I push myself until I collapse, and I wake up crying from terrible dreams. I allow myself no mistakes, no failure. If I fail, I create a larger chasm between me and my peers. I just want what others have. I'm jealous, angry, spiteful, and utterly embarrassed about it. Okay. So we get to fight. We depart together or not at all. Okay. So this is the gimmick with this. Um, so we have to fight all six of these characters. Obviously. And the whole we depart together or not at all comment is a reference to actually I should get aura down before I start moving in. So we depart together or not at all is it means we need to, I don't know if finish all of them off, but basically we need to be able to, Oof. um, finish all of them off at basically the same time. So we don't want to actually kill any of them until we start getting them to low health. Um, Speaking of which, I should double check here to see what their hit points look like. I think they've got basically a hundred each. So, I guess the good news is, Gilda's big AoE attacks should help us keep everything pretty sustained. Uh, obviously, clones of ourselves, they're going to use our own attacks against us. They have access to pretty much all of our attacks. Actually, not pretty much. All of our attacks. I thought the trap was one more square back. That's my bad. Luckily, I'm fairly familiar with the timing on all these attacks because they're, you know, 
my attacks. Double checking quick. I don't have any of the bombs or any of the items that do damage across the board. I was just having this thought that, oh, if I can get them down into the 25 HP range, I could use one of those items to just nuke a lot of them all at once. Okay, so that's 33. That's 30. The ones in the back are still pretty high. Where's Brooke at 76, yeah. Actually, can I do Toxic Cloud? I love that the enemy uh, that the enemy Gilda is very restricted because there are so many allies that they're trying to work around. I feel like, given where we're at right now, so I could teleport. I could try and get into a good position to shock her. Like, teleport here and shock her. Actually, that doesn't seem like a bad plan. Delay turn on all of the enemies down there. Let's do a quick check on the enemy HP again. Basically, if we kill one of them without being in a good position to kill the others, we're going to end up with a... Uh, uh, they're going to end up reviving. And that's obviously bad. Okay. That'll be another turn delay. That's obnoxious. I think that there is a trap one square in front of me, if I'm remembering right, so I need to be careful here. OK. 
can't shock her again. I guess I'll just beam here. Oh, that was a heal on. Oh, they're Mel or they're Petronella can heal as well. That's a problem. Oh boy. That is not what I was trying to do and might be very bad. Okay, they're still all in decent range here. some more turn delays down. We're probably in position to start. Well, maybe not quite. I feel like if we can start taking some of them down, it might help. Actually, yeah, let's just blaze here. Get rid of that trap. That's bad. Clutch. That might be okay then. Honestly, if that ends up being the case, that might be better. I thought there was an item, I must not have an, a copy of the item that lets you, there's a lot of items I don't have that I had at one point or another. Let's just hit this, uh, let's just hit Marie. Storm the entire enemy team. They're in position. That only did three somehow. How did that only do three damage? Oh my god. Okay. I need to hit this Petronella. So I think we're going to start knocking them down. Not low enough, I guess. I was thinking that might be enough. Sigil. Okay, I'm okay. I am honestly okay with them going for Acid Splash over a heal. Oh, that's right. They were still at one. I forgot about that part.
Guild is still at 35. Okay, um... I need to get our Guild back up. So we're going to pick me up. That was a really bad hit, but we got the kill on the Petronella, which was my goal. Um, they, their healing is a problem. So I think there's a decent chance. Oh, if you hit them again, that's when they start getting back up. Or they also get back up. That's a problem. Okay. My bad. So that makes thunderstorming a lot worse. Uh, but that does mean that if I teleport up Ear and Shocker, that should be good. That just gives them a counter. I can deal with that. I've got a few turns to get rid of them. The... Their version of... Petronella is going to be the biggest problem. There's a trap one square in front of me still, I think. So I think I'm finish off this Gilda. Oh. That'll do it. Okay, I need to smack Why can't I do that? It feels like I should be able to do that. I might just be down to lightning bolts here to make sure that I don't accidentally hit the crystals. I guess if we can get this flare, we should win.
That'll do it. I'm proud of what I've accomplished in the face of a world that would see me fail. I tell myself I'm worthless over and over, but those I love do not believe that, and I trust them. My friends value my company and don't always expect me to be perfect. I can return that love. Time can heal many wounds, and I'm lucky to have someone who can support me. I can heal. I have many times failed before, yet I survived. Everyone has their struggles. I'm allowed to fail. I envy my friends, but I am also proud of them. They rely on my strengths more than I know. That was sweet and wholesome. That was actually, it was a really cool fight. It was challenging and had some really cool gimmicks to it, but was also, you know, relatively, uh, like it wasn't super, super complicated or hard. I feel like I had a decent party, although I'm not sure. I think I would have maybe preferred our version of, uh, or having um, Ima over Nella, but just because they have a such a like, they have better damage, um, and that's kind of what that fight came down to. We didn't do a ton of healing, and they still have uh, Rainbow. So we would have had um, the aura at the beginning would have just been rainbow instead. Oh. Did we just literally not get anything for it? I don't think we did. Oh, the Mended Heart. You are loved. What does that do? Or is it literally just... I'm not sure. I figured we'd have to go back to Gwenora. I don't see them. It may just be the achievement. I mean, that's fine, if that's the case. Well, that's two bosses down, one super boss to go, and one regular boss to go. So, hopefully you're still enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.